Hi everybody and welcome to the How Did I Do Golf Academy. Today I'm going to try and fix your yips at chipping. John, this was sent in from you but I'm sure many of you will have this problem. Lots of you might think it's all in my head, it's all in my head, but I can guarantee it's got to do with technique also. Anyway, shall I show you how to get rid of those yips? Let's do this. Many people believe that you have to lift the golf ball in the air. You have to lift this way. You can see how the hands come up. When the hands come up in this direction, it pulls the club head up. That means that you can quite easily thin it through the golf shot. Or many, like this, and they just throw the club head at the golf ball. So there's kind of two ways there. You've got the lifting up of it and the throwing it at the golf ball. So I want to change that mentality. You actually don't need to lift the golf ball because we have loft. If you, if you deliver the golf club properly, it'll run up the face, get some spin and provide loft and height. So I've spoken about what not to do, the lifting action. In that case, keep the club head low to the ground. This is that basic chip and run. It's obviously different when you're trying to hit a lob shot, but the feeling is like a paintbrush you brush the ground. Look how low this club head is at this point, this point, and this point. It's not like that. So you're going to try and keep it nice and low to the ground. As little risk as possible. So the paintbrush effect. And then I want you to focus a lot more on the grip. You're going to swing the grip rather than the club head. This will stop you getting to here and throwing the club head at it. So keep a focus on moving this grip. Move it and hold, move it and hold. You notice how I've got golf pride written here. The angle of it doesn't change as I hit through. See how the angle changes there. So keep that angle and keep it in the same height from the ground. Notice how I've kept the angle, but it's rose, rose up. I've lost the angle, it's rose up. Golf pride down, club head down. That is just so important because that means that the club moves as one rather than, you know, that feeling of being electrocuted. That, that's when this starts moving around. So keep the club head close to the ground, swing the grip, go down, through. And notice how I have that little bit of turn towards the flag. So when you finish your shot, you're facing your target. It's all right me saying, oh look, that's it, that's how you do it. But then there's that mentality of, oh yeah, but when I get over that shot, I just freeze and then suddenly I'm like an octopus. This, this could really save you. This little drill that I think is amazing. Grab yourself another golf ball. So you've got two golf balls here. Address the back ball and I want you to hit both. You're gonna try and get height on them both. That means that because I've hit both golf balls forward and with a bit of height, your club head has stayed low through impact. It's amazing, one will come out a bit lower than the other. Obviously the back ball will come out higher, but the front ball will still come out with some height. And that just allows that club to stay low for a touch longer. So that's a really good thing to practice. Mentality-wise, when you get out on the golf course, if you go out and practice shots and see the ball going in the air, see the strike getting better, feel the golf ball running up the club face, then you can put it into practice on the golf course. Don't just think this is magically going to change. So in order for you to get rid of your yips, you need to change your mentality of trying to lift the golf ball in the air. You also need to practice the technique that I have just shown you. So you're keeping your club head low to the ground. You're keeping this grip nice and neutral all the way through, no breaking down of it. I want you to feel like you swing the grip and not the golf club head at the golf ball. Feel the ball run up the face, and that's because you're keeping the head low through impact. And then I want you to turn the belt buckle through to the target. So it's a little bit more like you're hitting the golf ball with the chest 
rather than your hands. If you hit it with your hands and you throw the club head at it, that's where that, uh, that yip comes from. So imagine that your body is carrying through this golf swing, but it's not gonna happen overnight because there is a poor technique together with a, oh my goodness, what is gonna happen? So get yourself on the practice ground, or the chipping green, sorry. Do these chips, get, get a more positive mentality with a better technique, and then you can take it out onto the golf course. You'll know you're getting it right if you use the two ball drill, and then also if the ball is flying nicely off the club face. I hope this has helped you. John, you're not the only one. <laughs> Lots of people go through this at some point in their career, in a tour life, never mind as an amateur. So keep working on what I've said and we will fix those yips. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of the action.